Three, two, one, go! All righty, we're rolling. What is going on? We're back in the studio. Hola. It's Jacob and Sholo. Uh, welcome back to the Lone Lobos podcast with half of your host, Sholo Mariguña. Welcome. Hello, I am the scared of watching scary movies half. Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand. Welcome back to the podcast studio. We're back in LA. I yeah, know it Ooh. feels so good not to have to fucking walk over and press the button when Whoa. we have to record. Uh, <laughs> we got the other team that can do that. Let's go. Show don't got to change the Hi, ISO anymore. Hi, Monica, Jordan. What's up? I'm recording. Hey, <laughs> we're all in the same room again. Can you tell they look so much better because they have a really nice camera on them now? How you doing? Upgrades. Doing good. How's our summer, y'all? It just started. So how is it? Didn't you just get back from a trip or something? Are you feeling better or what? We all just got back from a yeah, trip. Yeah, we all just got back from trips. Where'd you go? I fulfilled my top of my bingo card. Oh. This pod really is all about manifestation. Whoa. I did, in fact, go to Dublin and London. Whoa. Okay. Did what you, were the highs? Did you moon the gate? No, the gate was closed. Oh, the they portal. closed they it. They closed down the gate because other people were already mooning. Oh, uh, the they're like, yeah. Monica Tamayo's coming. We we can't have this happen. I drove. Well, we took a tour bus and we drove past it, and it just said like, "Oh, it's it's down." And I was pretty sad. Dang. Damn. Yeah. What could have been? Because I was in New York while you were out there. I know. It would have been so sick, dude. If you guys would have mooned each other, the energy uh, would like bounce off back and forth and cause us like a super la, 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 la. <laughs> super moon. The Earth would implode. But yeah. you did not go to any of the Harry Styles landmarks or One Direction landmarks. You fucking <gasps> fake. Wait, really? <laughs> I did not have time to... Okay, a real fan yeah. would have made time. I did not have time. You're insecure. <laughs> yeah, <truly. laughs> Three days in London is... I was very under or overwhelmed with how big London is compared yeah. to Dublin. It's yeah. such a small, small uh, city. I mostly spent it in Soho and Covent Garden. But did you ride in the tube? I did go on the tube. Yeah, you got the, the fucking tube. The Victoria line from... <laughs> you have a from, immaculate accent. Immaculate. Uh, thank you, love. From the Victoria line from... You got those three words. Canary Wharf. Oh, and okay. it would take me all the way down to Tottenham. Tottenham? Oh, yes. Tottenham. It was lovely. I went by myself. Tottenham. Well, I was incredibly hungover. I thought I was going to die <laughs> on the tube because I was so nervous. I was so sleep deprived. But I made it to the British Museum. Are Wait, there? what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you were like, I have to go to the British Museum. Because that's where they have all the artifacts from Mexico. Oh. oh. Are there a lot of Mexicans in England? I didn't meet a lot of Mexicans in London. I met a lot of Brazilians and Uruguayans. There are a lot in Dublin, which really surprised Whoa. me. Mm. There was like Mexican rex Mexican restaurants on like every other street. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just thinking about all those people on the tube. They're like, <gasps> he's crazy Mexican. Mate. He's throwing up on the <laughs> throwing, up. throwing up on the tube. Well, I feel like so close to Spain and Portugal, you have to be used to at least some kind of like Latin. A lot of Spanish Latin? Spanish tourists Hispanic? in Dublin. The amount of groups that I would walk pa past that they were all with their Espanol accent oh. was really interesting <laughs> as well. Uh, I have some I have some friends I've now that I've been to Spain a couple times, I have some friends there now. And it makes me feel bad like making fun of the Spanish accent. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea. <laughs> we go to I, I hope I haven't said this before, but we we went to Barcelona, right? This year for the show. I don't know if I could say that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And we go with Billy where he's like, you know, it's not Barcelona. Oh. That's that's a pre that's a pretentious. That's like saying Tarjay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's like the pretentious way of saying it. And we get out there. 
and everyone is saying to him, Gracias, you know, Barcelona. <laughs> and he's like, hey, we're, we're driving from the airport to the hotel. And he looks over, he's in the front seat. He looks over at the driver. He's like, wait, it's really Barcelona? And he's like, yes. And he's like, well, oh, damn. And then he goes on to explain this whole blah, blah, blah. Dude, I can just totally hear Billy's voice. Billy has a very specific shocked or surprised voice. Oh, man. He's like, Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, he was. Wait, it's really Barcelona? It's it's really Barcelona? Uh, oh, so then he was going around, gracias. Do you gracias. think do you think the people of, of Barcelona know that they all speak with a lisp and that the rest of the world is like <laughs> you guys have a speech impediment? Okay, have you seen the movie um Pop star never stop, never stopping. Oh, I haven't. What's his name? Connor something. Connor for real. Connor it's for the Lonely real. Island. Um, Andy Samberg. Andy Samberg. Yeah, I've seen like there's clips a of that there's movie. a song where they perform in Barcelona, 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 and his character is just like, yeah, man, everyone here just speaks with a really weird speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> and he has great a, impression. He, he has a a song on that album movie where he's just singing like this <laughs> the entire time <laughs> that wasn't even time didn't even need one and you added one in there <laughs> this is yeah. time. he's got a lisp oh gee oh, oh man jordan you came back from a trip too huh yeah two was, trips two trips back to back i felt like sholo and jacob just on these flights you know what i'm saying <laughs> Dude, we've never done that that's no. just you oh okay but yeah i went to back home to hawaii for a quick uh three-day trip to see fam and then came back, and then the next day I was on a flight to Mexico. Dude, what the hell? So they got you or what? When can I, <laughs> both fulfilling our bingo card uh, with her trip and my trip. So, yeah, I went to uh, Guadalajara, a small little town. Guadalajara. There. Yeah. It was a blast? Fire. Good food, good people, good vibes. Excellent um, exchange rate. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. So we got to eat good for hella cheap. I was like, what? How much are these tacos? Let's go. I'm never going to King Taco again. Yeah, you're like, these tacos are 50 cents? Yes. You're like, we're doing the math. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, houseway. But it was good. But uh, you asked me yesterday if I ate chilaquiles, and I said no. And I didn't know. No chilaquiles. Oh, never? No, I, I had it, but oh, he was like, you didn't go there? there to get chilaquiles? Because yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. my favorite. There's too much. It was overload. By the end of it, I was like, okay. It's okay, is... bro. I'm a good chilaquiles. I'm, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, being anywhere out in Mexico, there's so so many different random ass little spots to go to yeah. to go eat that it's it's just like you could be on one block and have 12 yeah. different places to go to it's yeah definitely overwhelming i think i just got burnt out from like like eating out while traveling it was just yeah. a lot because when i was in hilo i went to i tried to support local as much as possible mm -hmm. so i went to this place called hilo town market and I was just buying like poke and poke bombs, just doing research, just being like, <laughs> they'll never know. <laughs> How are they doing over here still? Yeah. I went to like Safeway and bought like a huge stack of poke for no reason. I know. Just, I saw you. Saw the photo. That's the I was your holding, baby. I put the photo up right here. <laughs> I was holding the poke like a baby and it was good. But yeah, the the eats were good. I always like take all these videos with my phone. And I'm like, I'm going to do like a TikTok, but I just never do. I never do. One day mm -hmm. I'm going to start doing like foodie tiktok stuff but yeah the food in like hawaii was good the pop-up scene is really impressed with that like it's got some fire eats out there and then i went to some places in guadalajara that i can't pronounce the name so i'm not gonna try it. <laughs> but it was good i had some chalupas some gorditas dude can you speak to now you know the experience and yeah, maybe you've had it before of just heading out to a place and not knowing the language and then just being the dude that's smiling yeah. all the time yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Go, going to brazil there were times where i was like oh yeah i'm just the dude that's smiling right now <laughs> and, and, yeah and, you, you, when you were going out there, you're like, yep. yeah, they all know that I don't speak Spanish, but no. they keep talking to me like I do. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Uh, yeah, Daisy's uh, cousin's husband, shout out Miguel. You're not gonna see this, but <laughs> he's like, <laughs> hey, hey, you don't know. Yeah, it could get back to him. It, it could, it could. The whole time he just, I was in the front seat. We were driving on these like hour long drives, <laughs> and no, I was in the front seat, and he'd just look over at me and just be like, da da da, going, 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 and I'm just like. Yep, I did bust out no pasta nada like maybe once or twice a day. Once or twice a day. Once or twice a day. But 
I could. Uh, I love you. Probably saying like, "Man, look at this view. You like that? Like, what do you think?" And you're just like, "No pasa nada." No pasa nada. <laughs> just disrespecting him. Yeah. No, 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 no. I did nah. Uh, but I was definitely the guy smiling. People were like, "Who the fuck are these guys? They're definitely not from here." Damn. Um, like mentally, but they were in a, in a nice way. In a nice way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were smiling, but like gripping your hand, yeah, like, like, "Who are you?" Yeah, it was fire. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was, it was okay. fire. I liked being the guy in the room, just smiling and being quiet. And I know, right? The it was, fuck up. That was nice. Yeah, you were just in your thoughts. I was chilling. Did you feel like you learned any Spanish that you didn't know before? Ooh, um, being a smiling guy. just food, like cecina. You know, cecina. Cecina. That's not I, onion, is it? I, I never heard of that. Onion yeah. is cebolla. 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 <laughs> Tell me blank out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what is is cilantro y cebolla. <laughs> what is what, cilantro what is, y cebolla con todo. <laughs> con todo. Not aparte. <laughs> con todo. Salsa verde, please. Um, no, asesina. I discovered that. It's what a is meat. that? It's a type of meat. I was just confused oh. though. I was just like, I was at a, I was at a restaurant and I was like, oh, that's a molita. And they're like, no, that's a gordita. And I was like, that's a, it's the same. And then I went to a taco stand and they were like, oh, they have gorditas. And they're like, no, that's a mulita. And I was like, it's the same. It's the same tortilla Make up your mind. Which one is it? Is it, is it a mulita or, is, uh, or a... Cecina is like a it's shaved like beef. beef jerky. Yeah. Yeah. It's like beef jerky on like a chalupa. And I was like, You're like, where are the cheesy gordita gordita? Does it taste like the hat? No. I the do hat. love meeting Mexicans that come to the U.S. for the first time. And they're obsessed with Taco Bell. Really? Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah, they're like, I really want to try this, like, Mexican, like, American food. And they're like, Taco Bell, they're like... More than Chipotle? Mm-hmm. And yeah, then they same. tried and think what? I have a cousin who came from Mexico, and he was obsessed. He was here for two weeks, and all he wanted to eat every day <laughs> was the Taco chalupas. Bell. Dude, let's go. I mean, bro, that Doritos Locos Taco is... Yeah, shout out Taco Bell. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. But I did bring you guys some snacks from Hawaii. You can try some later. Um, have you ever had a pickled mango before? No. It's red. It's red? Yeah. 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 It's intensely red. It's Whoa. Intensely red. It's, Why is it red? Don't worry about it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just food dye. No, it's no, just no. red. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, the band like hasn't hit Hawaii red yet. 40. Yeah. Uh, red 40 uh, in there. Uh, uh. What about wet lemons? Wet lemon? Yeah. Or lihing moi. Lihing moi, Yo, what no. the heck? Bro, y'all been in Hawaii so many times. You, you're literally about to go there. That's so sweet. All those things where you said are, are I mean, right? All I remember, there's there's a spot in Kauai that's pretty close to the airport. Kauai? Kauai. You said Kauai? Yeah, that's island. In- Kauai in Hawaii? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, I was like, Kawaii. I've never been like, to Hawaii. I was like, oh shit. Okay. Like, for a second, it was like, she's like, you mean in no lullaby, Kawaii? Yeah. <laughs> Kawaii. She's just banging on him. <laughs> um, dude, that's so. I was like, did I just accidentally say Kuwait? I was like, <laughs> what did I just say? Um, no, but there's a spot in Kawaii uh, where they have these lychee. Um, lychee. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, don't bro don't. <laughs> no I'm just kidding I'm just, if you call. say lychee I hate you actually yeah I'm on that I'm on that bandwagon too I, I'm down for that violence I'll, 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 I'll throw out some strays if you say lychee you the who the fuck told you can that? I have a lychee martini you're a fucking dumbass let me get a lychee martini lychee it's lychee it's lychee it's lychee it's both it depends on where you're from yeah I don't know yeah mm-hmm. but I, I and I bought some lihimoy lychee strawberry sour belts dude that's they probably the these, only candy you guys are gonna like. They have these um, lychee like they're just like dried lychee, uh-huh. <laughs> but they have like jelly in them. Uh-huh. They're so lychee good. Lychee jelly, yeah. It, no, but it's but it's like it has like I don't know how it's I'm describing it. It's a little cup. Yeah, it's like a little cup that you can eat. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I'll bring you that next time, or you can they're bring like us bring us back. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to Kauai. Oh. I don't know if they have they it in Maui. Oh. I don't. I only really remember. I like Maui. I think Kauai is way better. Um, but my parents really like Maui, so that's where we're going. Have you you been to Maui? I've been to Maui and I was like, like five. I so think. how do you know if it's not better? Just the way they talk about it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Right, like well. when my dad and I go to Kauai, it's like, all right, let's go on hikes. Let's try to go surfing. Let's go. Um, let's go fishing. But 
when my every time my parents talk about Mara, they're like, yes, we hung out on the beach all day and then hung out some more. And I'm like, oh, they, they kind of, they like to lounge. How yeah. okay are your parents with you just being like, all not right. okay. Okay. Not okay with that at all. When it is like family vacation, it is every waking, breathing moment. How do you feel oh, yeah. about that? You're staring at a family member. Yeah, yeah. I don't really like that. I think, but it's different. My parents don't get to see us all the time. You know, like my sister and her husband are coming and my brother's going and like I could see how they're like, this is our time to hang out with you guys. Yeah, because I, I wonder if it was an option if you guys just would spend no time together. No, no way. Like you just go, okay, yeah, I'll, if, I'll see you guys later. But dude, how sick would it be if like Blake and I rented a car and we were just like, let's just go out. You should. That's, you that's, could do that. yeah. that's impossible. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not happening. Just be like, but that would be stolen. sick. Yeah. Well, that's why when we went to Hawaii, when we went to Oahu, I was like, nice. this is amazing. <laughs> like, yeah. I. No mom, no dad. No mom, no dad in Hawaii. <laughs> like, well, I could do shit. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. I mean, not that. I mean, I have, I've had so much fun every time I've gotten to go. Um, but there is like a little bit to be desired when you're. So yeah, well, maybe you can start reading on your trip this time. Well, yeah. If you're just going to be lounging on the beach, maybe you can finish your book. You didn't finish this. Yeah, and you had two months to do it, bro. I was really close to you finishing had, it. Had, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, then that's fair enough. Really you got to the second part? Yeah, I was like, I got like 26 pages in. All right, you finished the book, bro. Oh, my gosh. 26 yeah. pages left? What? 26 pages left? Or 26? No, 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 like a tenth of the book in. Oh, okay. So, a yeah, tenth? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you got 26 pages through the first part. Of the uh, just the book, yeah. The okay, book. okay, okay. He's like, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. the right. two parts. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I know you. Honestly, the the first twenty six pages that you read, are like that, f it's broken up into two halves. The first half, the those twenty six pages, I'm sure are also we're talking about notes from underground. Yes, Dostoevsky. Yes, yes, yes. Let be those libros. We are talking about last month's book club, a book. Notes from Underground by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Yeah, Fyodor Dostoevsky. Um, it was that for the first half, mm -hmm. and the second half was just a little anecdote. Um, I liked this book. Yeah, yeah. I, Dude, I, I, let's go. I, I enjoyed this book. I was constantly um, having kind of like oh little chuckles throughout the book. Um, it is, it was a surprising book for me. It was very difficult at the beginning. Yeah. Um, because the book is written, like you were saying, from a stream of consciousness point of view. And this guy is very contradictory. He, um, is not really the kindest gentleman. He has a lot of like. He's a sick man. Yeah. Yeah. He's a sick Twisted man, blah, 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 blah. Um, there were a few things that I that I screenshotted, that I highlighted, that I liked the most. I think the most fascinating thing for me, I was doing a little background on the book, right? The book was written in the mid-1800s. Um, the dude, um, like, this, this predates, what's the homie's name? The, psych the psychology? Freud. Oh, oh, oh. Sigmund Freud. Mm -hmm. So this dude was getting into existentialism way, I mean, before, I'm sure there were people before him, but, but he was talking was famous, about things, yeah. talking about looking inwards and who we really are as people fucking 200 years ago. And I thought that that was quite cool. There were some things that still stand the test of time, right? Like um, I was telling you, he has a bit about um, in the second part where he's like, man, if I show up to the party first, everyone's going to know that I really wanted to go to the party that I was <laughs> desperate to go. So I'm not going to show up first. And then the next chapter starts and he's like, so surely I was to show up first. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you know, I was going to show up first. Yeah. So I thought that there were things that, damn, like that, those, that happens. There was this one passage where he talks about you know, leaving relationships poorly and how, you know, like that dynamic, how, um, let me see, let me read the quote. And won't it be better? Yes, better. I fancied later back at home. 
stifling the living pain in my heart and fantasies. Wouldn't it be better if she now carries an insult away with her forever? An insult, but this purification, but this is purification. It's the most stinging and painful consciousness. By tomorrow, I'd have already dirtied her soul with myself and worn out her heart. By, but now the insult will never die in her. However vile the dirt that awaits in her, the insult that will elevate and purify her through hatred, hmm, maybe also forgiveness. Though, by the way, will all that make it any easier for her? I thought that there were just some cool thoughts, cool things to think about. Um, it was a quickish read. Once I kind of got into the groove of it and understood like, oh, if I read this like it's a dude monologuing like loudly to himself, it's it's a quick read. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, it, it had gotten turned into a, like one man show a bunch. And um, I thought it was interesting. What did you what did you think about from the first 26 pages? Um, honestly, a lot of the same things that you said, like even just. I, yeah, I think I got to like chapter four or five, maybe. Um, it was just kind of funny. Like it's like I was reading the book, going. <laughs> yeah. Um, it it is it is a difficult read though. Like the first page, I remember when I first opened the book, my friend Seb and, and Jacob told me about this book, and they're like, "I think you would like this book." Though. Yeah. I remember reading the first page and being like, "I got to read that again." <laughs> like, <laughs> it definitely. I've because I've never read anything else that is like this where it really just is this sort of staccato stream of consciousness like it's like he's fumbling over his words constantly but in like this faux eloquent way yeah yeah i don't know he's um, very sure of himself speaking but then is contradicting himself i thought he brought a bunch of good points like this was apparently written at a time where Russia was feeling very influenced by the U.S. by means of needing to like unify the people. And a lot of the Russian writers at the time were using utopianism as a way of having people be like, guys, everyone conform. Let's all be good and Utopia. the future will be better. And he was and Dostoevsky was saying, nah, people really aren't like that. Like at, at our core, we need the good and the bad like we that is the type of people that we are you cannot man cannot have everything he will still complain about things that's who we are as people and i thought that that wasn't like i thought that could be right i thought you know that's probably closer to reality than than mm. utopianism i've been asking people this question lately but do you think that people are inherently good or inherently bad inherently good oh yeah Interesting. Yeah, yeah. You think so, the opposite? Um, I think the opposite. Hmm. I think you need to strive to be good. So, but your thing that you just said about Dostoevsky, how he was thinking that um, people will always find the negative in something or complain about something even if they have everything yeah. and that there is good and bad within everyone. But you still think people are naturally good. <coughs> I, I do think so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think the Lord makes us that way. Interessante. Yeah. That's that's actually the opposite of what that <laughs> what that movie is. Yeah, I, I think um uh <laughs> Yeah, because I I just think like as a baby, yeah, how But as a toddler? Yeah, like how can you how can you be like how can you be evil? Dude, I was stealing shit. Bro, have you seen Taj and you just like take something away from them? They're just like <gasps> <laughs> it's a horrible example, but it's like <laughs> if toddlers I ruled the world, you in the flames of hell. I mean, boss baby, yeah, you're right. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, not. I don't know. I, I, I definitely think you have to strive to be good. I personally feel that. I think if I, if I just let myself do whatever I wanted to do, I would just be a shitty person, probably. Hmm. Well, that just sounds like something. Internally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds uh, You're like actually uh, no one else thinks that. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you might be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should it sounds see like a therapist. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You really you need should, to read uh, Dostoevsky. Quiet down those intrusive thoughts, Jacob. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jacob's like, yeah, I just have these thoughts, these crazy thoughts. 
Um, so what type of book do you want to read next for this next month? Hmm. A children's book. Ooh, a children's book? No. <laughs> don't do that, Danny. I, that David. David. <laughs> Dave, don't do that, David. <laughs> I personally would love to read... Um, when we first read... Uh, what was the name of the first book we read? You Dreamed of Empires. When we first dreamed of Empires, you had first told to me as like, it's, you know, what if Columbus or Hernan Cortez came over, but he didn't win? Yeah. So I thought it was going to be like this crazy battle and like, you know, uh, fake uh, history. Uh, da, da, okay. da. I think a book like that, that is actually historical yeah. fiction, I think would be cool. Okay. A what historical do you, fiction What do you book think? In, in alternate history? Like I mean, it doesn't have to be alternate history. It could even just be like, um, like this one, like like that one that we read. Yeah. Or what um, was the name of that book you were talking about? I had an idea for an man anime. on the high castle. No, I had an idea for anime a long time ago. I was like, oh my god, that sounds like my idea for my anime. Um, Monster. No, no, no. It was a, it was a book that something about bone, blood and bone. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it's called. It's called blood and bone. Children of blood and blood. Children of Blood and Bone. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, a that's that's the book that has Yoruba in it. Did it's, you read it? Um, no, I haven't read it. You want to read that one? Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. I want to see if it's better than my anime idea. That sounds awesome. So we'll read that one. Children of Blood and Bone. Favorite. Sounds like a good one to read. This is nice because I think this is a good crossover between. I don't know why. Oh no, I do know why. You bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Stop doing that. Um, you like those self help books? Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what you do? Yes, I do. You like those self help books? Yes. I like fiction. Yep. I feel like this is a good mix in between. Okay. I mean, we'll see when we read it. Right? Is it historical? I don't know about that. Oh uh, well, <laughs> this is more up my alley then. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I think it's going to be fun. I think it's, yeah, just strictly fantasy. But um, perhaps the... <gasps> it came out on my birthday? Oh, HBD. wow. HBD. Dude, that's wow. my turn 18. Meant to be. Wow. If it's meant to be, it'll Well, be and you, it sounds ad- like you already have my copies. So. Aw, damn, bro. We're reading young adult literature. <laughs> damn. Well, that's what Monica said, the children's book. <laughs> Okay. This book is for 16 year olds. Yeah, I know. Now we're going to be on TikTok being like, oh, did you see? <laughs> Top Have five? you ever read the book? <laughs> Top five romances in books, March. I really feel like Watch Mojo did a lot of work to make the narrator voice be something sick. And then somehow that dumbass one still came back. Oh, the. Number three, Burger King. Number four. Is yeah. <laughs> the last place you would want to see a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Ten horrible things you Your don't want to see at the right? ocean. Okay. So that's the book. But Two boys kissing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shola, before we move on, you didn't tell us yeah. where, where, you, where you traveled. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not giving people my whereabouts, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, track Shola's location. He was just... I actually don't know where he went. I was... Oh, wait. I went to New York. Oh, I was going to say something else. <laughs> I went to New York. My older sister's baby shower. Do, 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 oh, do. my God. Congratulations, older sister. But, oh, my God. I'm going to be an uncle before you are. Right? Oh, that is surprising, actually. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to have a nephew... No, I'm sorry, a niece. Uh, a niece. Before. No, you're going to have a. I'm sorry. I'm we gonna, had this conversation. There's going to be a, a fucking it. alien. Yeah, yeah. there's going to be an alien. Um, But yeah. How do you. What do you think? I, I think I still have a few years. Obviously, the baby isn't conscious to develop my style of uncle. <laughs> um, But, you know, I think. You're you just going to full send and go creepy uncle? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that for you. Just, yeah. Just like put it a little extra pomade in there. Oh my God. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yo. I've thought about being a different version of an uncle 
to each different kid. That's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? So that because then it would like really trip them out because then when they talk to each other about me, they'd be like, oh, man, like we don't feel that Uncle the Jay is just so unhinged like he's so and they're like what you mean jazer uncle jazer is <laughs> the most upstanding solid rock dependable uncle we could ask for and they'd be like yo what the what and they'd be like whoa i want to cause some discourse i think that'd be kind of cool you want to cause some uh trauma yeah i want to be like <laughs> she can be protected from mayhem the like me the table is gonna go crazy during thanksgiving dude yeah it's gonna be sick I can't wait. My actually, my mission is to. My siblings hate all the nerdy stuff I'm into. Mm. My mission is to like every birthday, every any event, I'm gonna get them Pokemon, magic, Mm. introduce them to anime, so Mm. they're kids. I'd be like, "Can you take me to anime con?" Oh my god, dude! dude, My freaking younger sisters when I was out there in New York. One of them is obsessed with anime. Really? Oh my God. We were in Flushing's Queens and there's this mall out there that has this store that is just dozens and dozens of claw games. Oh my God. And gotcha machines and, and stuff. it's just anime toys left and right. Pokemon, anime, freaking Sanrio. Oh my God. And it... it was madness really she's obsessed yeah what is like her favorite show um, like my hero or something? her favorite thing right now we were talking she wants to cosplay as someone from um genshin impact whoa yeah she likes genshin impact she likes demon slayer she likes high she like nine um no, no 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 she's 12 now oh yeah yeah all right get out of here uh we'll do wrapping notes uh what's your song of the week my song of the week. Oh, dude, you know what I've been listening to a lot lately? Is Otis. Lotus? Otis. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. yeah. I've been feeling nah, sweat. Nah, nah. Papa's up and put yeah. supermodels nah, in the nah, cash. Nah. Yeah. Proof. Nah, nah, I guess nah, I got nah. my swagger yeah. back. Nah, nah, True. Nah, nah. New watch alert. Nah, nah, Hugh Blow. Nah. All the big face Rolly. I got two oh, of those. Gross. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. After you showed me that music video, I was like, this is the coolest right? music video. Oh my god, I think that I've custom ever seen. whatever uh, is it a Maybach? Yeah, is that what it yeah. is? Yeah, I think With, so. It's it looks like the steampunk fucking yeah. version. Where they the just doors like, off. Yeah, they just like dune buggy it out. I like when they have the. I just I don't know how. I'm sure they just record everything at high speed and then we'll play the song at a certain rate mm-hmm. that it matches the actual song. Like hmm. when they play, you know what I'm talking about? It yeah. looks like they're rapping in slow mo. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's sick. Yeah. Especially with, yeah, when he's like, I guess I got my swagger back. That shit is cool. Same again. Funk Flex had the craziest release ever when that song came out. He got that song as, I think, as an exclusive, and he did like a 20 minute release of that song where he just played just like. Dropped the bombs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where he was just like, was playing that first. It makes it easier. And he would just get like Whoa. five more seconds through the song and then just be like, <gasps> it's fucking New York. You know what it is, son? Uh, yeah, it's it's a good one. I okay. Like he's like New York Mickey Mouse. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking New York. That is what he sounds like. Oh, it's New York. Um, okay, Otis is a good one. Um, I, yeah, Monica Jordan. Very quickly, my song of the week is Hannah Montana, Nobody's Perfect, because Ooh. I just perfect. still keep making mistakes I at the ripe age of 27. It. Damn. Damn. Okay. Okay. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's. Okay. And Hannah reminds me, and I feel better. It's okay. Okay. We can make mistakes. My song of the week is Johnny Chang. Johnny oh. Chang. Johnny Chang. And a song is called Solace, uh, produced oh. by Don V. I love that it, word. It, it's a banger. It, the, the drums are just... And captivating and it's short it's one of those where like it's a minute 30 seconds and i just kept playing it over and over dude fire my song is open your eyes by bobby caldwell um why do i know that name because he did oh i guess you wonder where i've been but what is the name of the song no 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 let me do this I do have to dip out though. Okay, get out of here. All right.
pick a pick a candy on the Ooh. thing. It was sampled Maybe in. Just open the pickle mango because I'm sure she'll want to try it too. Let's the light by Common, yeah. ROTC by Kendrick Lamar. Um, do it real big by Mad Lib. Flying low by CJ Fly. All right, y'all. This has been another week of the Lone Lobos podcast. Thank you so much for listening. A couple of um, housekeeping notes. YouTube. Subscribe, Spotify, like it. And to everyone who uh, joined us last week at the Boyle Heights Youth Festival and came to support, really appreciate you. Um, it was really fun. It was a really great to get to perform and you know show out for the community. So really appreciate this love and support. We have some really exciting things coming from you for you in this next month of the Long Lobos podcast. And without anything left to say, peace. This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos.